had to pop a little U-turn because I changed my damn mind. I bet you I'm going senile. Can you go senile at 44? And you guys are here to watch it. Almost messed around and showed you guys my secret code. Wouldn't be so secret after that. I'm tired. And I gotta go pull weeds. Weeds. The lawn care part of home ownership, it's not my favorite. I'm not gonna be out there watering that bitch. I'm not gonna be manicuring it out there with scissors. I know somebody that used to cut their grass with scissors. That's a true story. But I'm grown and I gotta do grown home ownership things to keep up the appearances in the neighborhood. So let me get my black ass out there and pull some damn weeds. That's a lot better. Right? All right, so the plans for the day. No idea. I know I need to go out to uh, out west, do some stuff, and I need to come back around here and do some stuff. I don't know. I don't know what order I'm doing stuff in. I don't know if I'm taking you guys with me. Who knows? But I'm sure I'll see you later. Weeds done, shower taken, beard dyed, gray gone. The gray will come back though. So we're off, change direction, to uh, do some menial shit. You know, grocery shopping, we gotta hit the vape store, Saturday stuff. 106. There's a bunch of nails all over my garage floor. You'd think I'd pick those nails up, wouldn't you? I'll just drive over them one day. So the plan is to do all the running around today so I don't have to do any running around tomorrow. Because my plan for tomorrow is to just sit on the couch and catch up on Netflix. That's it. I don't even know if I'll take a shower tomorrow. I'm not getting off the damn couch. I know, that's nasty. That's the plan. Did I even say what day it is? Today's Saturday. Saturday the 20th. Saturday the 20th. So as far as poker goes tonight, I most likely will be playing. I might get a late start, but we'll see. We'll see. And my voice went up in some weird, my voice, my voice does weird things. So as maybe you saw, I'm walking into Smoke Smart, minding my own business, and there's some lady standing out front in the 93 degree heat, trying to get people to sign up to put uh, medical marijuana on the bill here in Missouri, or at least here in St. Louis. Personally, I think it should be legal. I ain't smoking the shit. So anyway, good luck to that lady getting it on the ballot. She's definitely a trooper for standing out in this heat though. The Dollar Tree. If you don't shop at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar whatever that's in your town, you're missing out. I'm telling you, you're missing out if you've never been in one of these places. You would think most of it's junk, right? It's not. Well, I take that back. Most of it is junk. But you can find some cool stuff in there sometimes. In and out, Dollar Tree got everything I needed. I even got crazy glue. Remember about, I don't know, a month ago, at the end of one of the vlogs, I said that I needed to get Gorilla Glue? 
I never got it. All right, and I got some gummy bears. They were a dollar. So I think before I mentioned that today was the 20th. It's not, it's the 19th. I told you I don't know dates. I never even look at the date. If I didn't do this vlog, I'd have no idea what the day was. All right, you guys can come if you want, but it ain't gonna be much to look at. I told you it'd be boring. It's a damn grocery store. I'm having a really hard time getting off this couch right now. Good thing it's only four o'clock. Took long enough to finish all the crap I had to finish. But it is 9.35. Man, I did a lot of stuff today. Some of you guys saw like me pulling weeds. Other stuff you didn't see. You ain't gotta see every damn thing. But just trust me when I say I did a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to go win. How can I win just sitting here? I can't. Where is my phone? Okay, Miss Chris. You know where I'm at. You know the routine. You know exactly what's going on. This is why I put on my hoodie. I say a couple things. I grab my bag, fix my pants, lock the car, then we go. So I am getting here a little bit later, but I'm still getting here. I didn't even bother looking at the Bravo. I think though they might have a 510 game over at Ameristar that I quite possibly may go check out later, but we'll get started here. I like magical nights. Unfortunately, I'm not having a magical night. Don't get it twisted, I'm not having a bad night. I think I'm up like 120 bucks, which is awesome. I've only been here like three hours, but it's been a boring ass three hours. To be honest, you probably just saw the highlight of my evening, which was bumping into three people that I know outside of the poker room. That's it, that's the most exciting thing that's happened all night. I'm gonna tough it out though. It's Saturday night, the games have to pick up eventually, right? Even though it's 12, 30, one o'clock in the morning, I don't think it's gonna happen tonight. Maybe I'll just book a small win and go home. There's nothing wrong with it. It's better than a small loss, right? Let's try to get in here and not make something happen. Trying to make something happen is where I get myself in trouble. So as long as I focus on not making something happen, but maybe something will happen. I know that logic doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense to me.
Nice and nice and Great profit. <laughs> Killing the game. <laughs> they can't stop me. Alright, I have picked up, cashed out, and that is it for tonight. Not a stellar session tonight. I know I sound kind of down, but I had no reason to be down. I'm up for the night. Not as up as I'd like to be on a Saturday night, but I'm up nonetheless. So the result for tonight's session, up $3. Didn't I just have an up $1 session like a week ago? I've been proved on that. I'm up $3 tonight. But again, just like the $1 session, I'm not gonna complain about being up three. It could have been a lot worse. I think the weirdest part of the night is that I wasn't card dead. I was flop dead, but I wasn't card dead, which kind of makes it worse in some ways. It's almost better being card dead and just folding and folding and folding. But when you're flop dead, you're raising pre-flop every other hand and missing flop after flop and then just stealing to keep your head above water. That kind of sucks. But hey, this is how it goes sometimes. It's not all blockbusters. Getting out of here, I'm gonna head home, get some sleep. I have a full day of hopefully nothing tomorrow. But once again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up icon leave me a comment and I will probably respond. Subscribe and you'll get cute little notifications on your phone and I will catch you next time. I don't know why I sound so down. I sound very melancholy, but I'm not. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm probably just tired. Need some sleep. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. I know this is a bit abnormal, because I'm back at home. And you and I, we kind of have this uh, unwritten contract thing, right? 
I make the videos, I publish the videos, you watch the videos, hopefully enjoy them, I say the little thing about my results, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, blah blah blah, the little earth pops up, music by whatever, and then we're on to the next one, right? I guess I'm breaking our little contract this time. It's funny, I was driving home, right? <laughs> thinking about being up three dollars and it started to bug me. I know because I'm not stupid that being up three dollars is better than being down three dollars. But for some reason being up three dollars is just tilting the piss out of me. Especially because I was up one dollar a few days back. Let's call it a week. And I know I should be fine with it, but I don't know why I'm not fine with it. And I think I figured it out. This is what I did on my drive home. I think I figured it out in a very weird way I'd almost rather be down $3 than up $3. If you're down $3, I'd feel like, you know what, I battled back. They had me, but I battled back to almost even, and I'm good with that. I'm good with being even. I don't have to win every single time, I'm good with being even. Right? That's down $3. If you're up $3, it feels like, man, they had you locked up. You couldn't get anything going. You were barely even beating the game. I wouldn't even call that beating the game up $3. I know that's stupid, right? That's a stupid way to look at things. It's a stupid way to feel. But that's what I thought about on the drive home. <sighs> so now I'm gonna deal with that for the rest of the night until tomorrow's session, where I guarantee you I will not be up or down $3. I don't know what I'll be, but it ain't gonna be $3. Okay, my little rant's over. All right, I'm really going to bed now. I'm really, I'm done. I'm happy I'm up $3. There's no reason to poo-poo being up $3. Did I just say poo-poo?